alkalinity and pH of Unimas East Campus lack water. The objective of this video are 1. To determine pH in lake water using pH meter 2. To determine the difference of pH in the three lakes in Unimas East Campus 3. To be familiar with the concept of alkalinity and pH in water Alkalinity is defined as the buffering capacity of a water body it measures the ability of water bodies to neutralize acids and bases, thereby maintaining a fairly stable pH. Water that is a good buffer contains compounds such as bicarbonates, carbonates, and hydroxides, which combines with hydrogen ions from the water, therefore raising the pH of the water. pH is one of the most common analyses in soil and water testing. It is the standard measure of how acidic or alkaline a solution is. It is measured on a scale from 0 to 14. pH of 7 is neutral, pH less than 7 is acidic, and pH greater than 7 is basic. Facts about pH value and alkalinity. pH value is from 1 to 14, where 1 to 6 are acidic, 7 is neutral, and 8 to 14 are alkaline. When carbon dioxide reacts with water, it will form carbonic acid, which lower the pH. Determination of pH plays an important role in the wastewater treatment process. Extreme pH levels, presence of particulate matters, accumulation of toxic chemicals, and increasing alkalinity levels are common problems in wastewater. This becomes a serious environmental concern in the recent years, and hence municipal and industrial wastewater treatments are critical before it enters to lakes, rivers, canals, and other water bodies. The pH analysis are important for neutralization, precipitation, coagulation, and other biological treatment processes. pH analysis are probably the most recommended method for wastewater treatment. pH is measured using pH meter, which comprises a depth unit consisting of a glass electrode and an indicating unit which indicates the pH corresponding to the electromagnetic force is then detected. Most natural waters possess the pH values ranging from 5.0 to 8.5. In order to maintain our ecosystem around the area, we need to identify the pH of Unimas Lake. If the pH of Unimas Lake is too high or too low, the aquatic organisms living within it will die. pH value is used to measure the water in the pond is on the acidic side or on the alkaline side. The result of any pH is only indication. Alkalinity is being decreased all the time by bacterial action which produces acidic compounds. Aquaplankton keeps the pH at the optimum level. Lakes can be used as a method to prevent over flooding. It helps to maintain the climate. It also enhances and improves natural beauty of surrounding. In conclusion, we have determined the pH value in lake water using pH meter. We also have determined the difference of pH in the three lakes in Unimas East Campus. Last but not least, we are now familiar with the concept of alkalinity and pH in water. So, I hope that us as students can maintain a good ecosystem around the lake and avoid polluting the lake.